coffee. It's the magical elixir that jumpstarts our mornings, keeps us sharp. Let's be honest, feels like it's required on most days. But while most of us think about coffee in terms of energy and focus, have you ever wondered what it's doing to your lungs? Whether you're sipping your second cup of the day or trying to cut back, you might be surprised to learn that coffee has a complex relationship with your respiratory health. Some studies hint at benefits like improved lung function, while others raise concerns about potential risks, especially for those with chronic conditions like COPD. So, is coffee good or bad for your lungs? I guess you'll have to keep watching if you want to find out. As you know, coffee has been a staple of daily life for centuries, cherished for its ability to wake us up and keep us going. But beyond its energizing effects, coffee is also a source of numerous compounds like caffeine and antioxidants that have potential impacts on the body, including the lungs. When it comes to respiratory health, the effects of coffee are a bit of a mixed bag. For some, that morning cup of joe might offer unexpected benefits, while for others, it might pose some concerns. Studies suggest that coffee consumption could positively influence lung health in certain ways. For example, caffeine, a key component of coffee, has bronchodilator effects, meaning it can help open up the airways. This might explain why some research has linked coffee consumption to a lower prevalence of asthma. Additionally, coffee's antioxidant properties may play a role in reducing inflammation, which is beneficial for maintaining healthy lung tissue and potentially protecting against oxidative stress caused by pollutants or smoking. However, coffee's effects are not universally positive. One case control study found that coffee consumption was associated with an increased risk of COPD. While this might sound alarming, researchers noted that smoking, a major risk factor for COPD, was a significant confounder in the study. This highlights an important point. Lifestyle factors like smoking and physical activity often intertwine with coffee consumption, making it tricky to determine whether coffee is directly harmful to the lungs. Interestingly, coffee's impact on lung function has also been studied in relation to respiratory mortality. In a few prospective cohort studies, regular coffee drinkers appeared to have a reduced risk of death from respiratory diseases. This finding suggests that coffee might have protective effects, possibly due to its ability to reduce inflammation and improve airway function. Still, these studies emphasize the need for more robust research to confirm such benefits and to explore whether these effects differ among individuals with varying respiratory conditions. So, is coffee a hero or a villain when it comes to lung health? The answer is far from black and white, much like a perfectly brewed cappuccino. While coffee may offer certain protective effects for the lungs, its potential risks cannot be ignored, especially for individuals with existing respiratory conditions. Understanding the balance between its benefits and drawbacks is key to making informed decisions about your coffee habits. One area where coffee has shown particular promise is in its ability to alleviate persistent coughing. A fascinating study found that combining coffee with natural honey was an effective remedy for persistent post-infectious coughs. The caffeine in coffee may contribute to this effect by relaxing airway muscles, while honey adds a soothing antimicrobial component. Together, this duo offers a natural alternative to over-the-counter cough remedies, which can be especially appealing for those looking to avoid synthetic medications. On the other hand, coffee's acidity and diuretic properties could pose issues for some individuals. For people with acid reflux, drinking coffee, especially on an empty stomach, can exacerbate symptoms, including coughing and throat irritation. Since acid reflux can sometimes mimic or worsen respiratory symptoms, it's important for individuals prone to these issues to monitor how coffee affects them. Additionally, because coffee is a diuretic, excessive consumption might lead to dehydration, which could potentially thicken mucus in the airways, making it harder to breathe comfortably. For those managing chronic conditions like asthma or COPD, the role of coffee becomes even more nuanced. While the bronchodilatory effects of caffeine might provide short-term relief by relaxing airway muscles, it's not a replacement for prescribed medications like inhalers or bronchodilators. In fact, relying on coffee as a DIY remedy for respiratory issues can delay proper treatment and may lead to complications. Moreover, the stimulant effects of caffeine could interfere with sleep, which is crucial for individuals managing chronic respiratory illnesses. Poor sleep can weaken the immune system and make it harder for the body to recover from inflammation or infections. It's also worth noting that not all coffee drinkers will experience the same effects. 
Factors like genetics, overall health, and the presence of pre-existing conditions play a big role in determining how coffee interacts with the lungs. For instance, one person might enjoy enhanced lung function after drinking coffee, while another may find that their symptoms, such as shortness of breath or coughing, become worse. This variability highlights the importance of paying attention to how your body responds to coffee and consulting a healthcare provider if you're unsure. Another factor to consider is how coffee interacts with other habits or lifestyle choices that affect lung health. For example, smokers who drink coffee may see different outcomes compared to non-smokers. Since smoking is a primary risk factor for respiratory diseases like COPD, it's difficult to separate coffee's effects from the impact of smoking. Many studies have noted smoking as a confounding factor, meaning the observed effects might be less about coffee itself and more about the habits of the people who consume it. This makes it even more important to approach the topic with nuance and avoid sweeping generalizations. Another angle worth exploring is the potential long-term benefits of coffee for respiratory health. While some studies suggest coffee consumption is linked to reduce respiratory mortality, the mechanisms behind this association remain unclear. Could it be coffee's anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties at work? Or is it that coffee drinkers tend to have healthier overall lifestyles, such as being more active? These questions highlight the complexity of studying coffee's role in lung health and the need for more research to clarify its potential benefits. That said, moderation seems to be the golden rule when it comes to coffee. Too much caffeine can lead to jitteriness, anxiety, and even heart palpitations, all of which can indirectly affect respiratory function by increasing stress on the body. For individuals with pre-existing lung conditions, these side effects could be particularly bothersome, as heightened anxiety and rapid breathing can exacerbate symptoms. Sticking to moderate amounts, typically defined as one to three cups a day, may allow you to enjoy the potential benefits of coffee without overloading your system. So, where does this leave us? If you're a coffee lover, there's no need to feel guilty about your daily brew. In fact, for many people, coffee can be a valuable part of a healthy lifestyle, offering benefits that extend beyond a morning energy boost. However, it's essential to listen to your body and pay attention to how coffee makes you feel. If you notice that it worsens respiratory symptoms or contributes to acid reflux, it might be time to rethink your habits or explore alternatives, like switching to decaf or limiting consumption to specific times of the day. Ultimately, coffee is neither a cure-all nor a villain when it comes to lung health. It's a complex beverage with a wide range of effects that depend on your unique circumstances, the key is to approach it mindfully, recognize its potential benefits while being aware of its risks. Whether you enjoy coffee as a morning ritual, an afternoon pick-me-up, or a cozy treat on a rainy day, understanding how it interacts with your lungs can help you make informed choices that support your overall well-being. So sip on that coffee, enjoy its rich aroma, and let science continue to unravel the mysteries of how this beloved beverage interacts with our health, including the lungs that power each satisfying breath. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.